Hello folks, I'm back so quick, this is an addendum. I went back to my other machine and I tried to use the Google search engine to find something about the malware using the name and something strange happened, which I'm going to try to recreate here. And a moment ago, I tried to use the extension to tell me what's up. Now, I think you can see it. It says that since the last time I cleared it, the ads and trackers is detected over 2,000. Yeah, they, they spy on you all the time. And it said that it found one malware, or at least warning, which you've already seen, which was a recreate successfully from what happened on my other machine. So then I tried to go show more history, but apparently to get anything in the past, I have to pay for it. So I went to my video and I did a screenshot and I blew up the part where I was told what the name of it is. Banana 1678194. Let me refresh myself. Banana one six seven eight eleven ninety four. And then what I did is I put malware bytes. All right. And then here's a link to malware bytes website. I'm going to open it in a new tab. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, you see that other machine is Windows 8.1. And I think there must be some people who are sneaking through because, no, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's here. No, amen. Now, be patient. Somebody has put trackers somewhere in my browser, and by that I mean a cookie. So I'll recreate for you what I did before. So I have something that I run and I say the letter C, the letter enter, and then control F11. And it just took a screenshot. And then I outline it. And I go control Y. Now we want to read this, so I'm going to do what I did with the screenshot from the video. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go control Y. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to say resize. And I'm going to say 300%. So even you can read it. So this browser and my other one has been somewhere where cookies have been put into the browser and they're used for tracking. The one I'm interested in at the moment, this is educational for everybody, googletagmanager.com.
Surely they know what this is. Google Tag Manager .google .com. Tag Manager helps to optimize tag development. Tag the the the. It requires me to log in to see that. Why? What does Google Tag Manager do? Tag Manager gives you the ability to add or update your own tags for conversion traction, tracking, site analytics, remarketing, and more. There are nearly endless ways to track activity across your sites and apps, and the intuitive design lets you change tags whenever you want. And this is on a website called marketingplatform.google.com tag manager so that's official put your mind at ease ease of use error checking and speedy tag loading ensures your mission critical data is collected so google helps people track you Now let's get back to what I was originally doing. Now it's saying should I take this? And he gives me the same link. Apparently if I want to see it I have to have premium. There's a, there's a line through this, and it's based on 11,555 views. The search engine is trying to guess. Okay, now, if we go back to this, the other thing is B-R-I-Z-Y. Breezy Website Builder, Breezy Web Press, Breezy, there's Breezy Point New York, but what I'm going to do is just, I haven't done this before. Malware Removal. Malwaretips.com, I have no idea who they are. So I'll use the Google Cached page. Center News Prostate.breezy.site. The breezy.site is the domain of the one they stopped. The subdomain is not Center News Prostate. It was something else, right? Banana with a long number thing. Your browser may be redirected to centernewsprostate.breezy.site. So what it was happening is there's something on, apparently, that Malwarebytes, MalwareGuard extension Malwarebytes Guard extension detected, probably based on breezy site, breezy dot site, and that it looks like it's something that redirects something on your browser to somebody who owns a subdomain there. And there are others, and one of them is called prostate dot breezy dot site. Got it? Banana da blah, blah, blah. Dot breezy dot site prostate dot breezy dot site your browser may now let's see what they say about this one your browser may be redirected to center news prostate breezy dot site due to malware infection on your device huh 
how would I get that infection? Who would infect me? According to malware bytes, it's coming from me going to the birth certificate page at the Randolph, Randolph County, North Carolina, clerk.com. Suggesting they need to see if they're infected. Push notifications from malicious sites or by being redirected to yet another website you visited. Less reputable sites may display malicious ads that redirect your browser to this particular website in order to generate advertising revenue. It's been in the news lately that there's been some cheaters that have stuff like this and they use you going to a website and you can't see what's happening but under the covers, they make your computer recreate a request that your browser doesn't show you that goes and clicks on an ad somewhere else so that they get pennies for every click on the ad. That's one of the complaints at YouTube that they're trying to fix from stopping ha so it won't happen. I'm giving you an example of the last part I just read. If this happens, you should close the page and consider installing an ad blocker like AdGuard. What, what one stopped it for me? Malware Bytes Browser Guard. That's a power, okay? To block these types of ads. If you continue to see pop-ups from that site, it's possible your computer is infected with a malicious program and you should scan your device for adware and remove it. Da 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 da. This is all impromptu, and I'm keeping it. I'm going to make it as part of the video that I want them to see, so that if they don't understand what the first part's about, now they do. Because apparently Breezy Dot Site specializes in this kind of stuff. Now, I'm going to do something that is not going to hurt my computer. Banana 167811 94 B R I Z Y dot S I T E. I'm using a facility that's in all computers called Ping. It's safe. All it does is it spends, sends a special kind of packet out over the internet. It goes to, after the DNS looks up the actual address, numeric address, and what it does is it requests the other end to acknowledge that they exist and are online and does no more than that. It gets back a packet that says, yes, I exist and am active. And it's pinging it and it's answering. Now that's the one that's in this thing that I read with the Google search. No, the one that I would be redirected to by something in on the web page from the clerk's office in Randolph County. Let's try the other one. All it is is prostate.breezy.site. Did I get that right? Let me look. Center, center News Prostate. And it answers. And why don't I just change it to Breezy Site? Breezy Site doesn't want to answer. Let's try www. It answers. 
those two names with and without the www are not the same domain destination. So there is a website called www.breezy.site. Do I want to go there? No! NS Look Up, which is another utility offered by NS Look Up, www.breezy.site. Can you see the name? Can you see the name? I can't make that big. What's the name of the website? A6E4ED2AFE0EBE24B dot, it's a subdomain, AWSGlobalAccelerator.com. An alias for that in the domain name service lookup is www.breezy.site. AWS is Amazon Web Services. AWS Global Accelerate. AWS Global Accelerator versus CloudFront. AWS Global Accelerator Pricing. And Amazon Web Services, AWS Global Accelerator Pricing, Amazon Web Services, Pricing for AWS Global Web Services. We're just following it, folks. With the AWS Global Accelerator, you are charged a fixed hourly fee for each accelerator that's provisioned in your account, which is enabled or disabled and an incremental charge, blah, 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 blah. customers typically create one accelerator for each application. But blah, blah, blah. So what I now do is, what AWS Global Accelerator is a networking service that helps you improve the availability, performance, and security of your public applications. In other words, they give you special attention. Your website needs to respond immediately. They guarantee it will. Does Amazon Web Services care, care what, what these people are using it for? I've never tracked this down before. I've never seen it before. A half hour ago, I wanted to look and see about a birth certificate, recent birth, on in, in this county. And all I did was put in the name and say, hey, who does the birth certificates in Randolph County, North Carolina? And Malwarebyte said, be careful. And that's why we got all of this video. Okay? And for you folks there, I'm a resident of Randolph County, North Carolina. And when I see something that could impinge upon the good government practices here, I'm looking out for my neighbor's safety, including my local government's safety. Is there really malware bytes, malware on their computer system, however they do it? I have no idea. This is to alert them because of a warning from a reliably, globally, world name 
malware bytes saying there's a problem. Check it out, please. Steve A. before y'all, just an idiot running his mouth, started programming computers at the CPU level in 1983, was on ARPANET before it became the internet, retired from a globally, internationally known, internationally operating IT company supporting a headline web-oriented, web-enabling product Seen these kind of things even back then, saying see you in 73.